Another day and another headline and seemingly another record-breaking story. But as ever with Harry and Meghan, what's the truth behind the headlines? Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Thank you so much for joining me today. And as ever, nice to have your company. By the way, just a quick shout out there. I wanted to let you know, I was listening to a piece of music the other day on the radio and it just got me thinking about how theme tunes, TV shows, radio theme tunes, that sort of stuff, just um, make you think differently, don't they? You know, you flick something on and think, oh, I haven't heard this for years. Now, this was truly before my time, but somehow I know this theme music. It's all from that BBC radio programme called Calling All Workers by Eric Coats, very famous theme tune. Sadly, we can't play you it because we don't have the copyright, you know. But it got me thinking about, you know, how that sort of thing uh, can really just set you thinking, can't it, in a different way, you know, that day you think, oh, remember that, you know, whether it be a pop record or a theme tune or a show from your childhood, you know. I think for me, loving showbiz, you know, I think the theme tune that always makes me smile is the theme tune to Sunday Night at the London Palladium because, of course, it was a brilliant TV show way before before my time I might point out but of course I've seen reruns on YouTube but it must have been fantastic to be a star in that period you know you got to be on the world's biggest TV program the world's biggest and most famous stage and of course you had to have a lot of talent too just to get there you know what I'm saying back as ever though to your breaking roll story of the day I don't know if you've seen this headline it basically claims that uh, that brand new docu-series reality TV show from Harry and Meghan which is about to uh, land as they say next month via Netflix finally uh, well apparently some of the bosses are not too happy and neither are the bosses of Penguin Random House let me explain this story all basically claims that there's two different narratives a different narrative to the book and a different narrative to the TV programme. Now, what's interesting here is, as we've seen, we already know that they really seem incapable of sticking to a plot, don't they, when you think about it, you know? You had, um, in the Oprah Winfrey interview, you had Meghan saying one thing, and then Harry coming in at a later stage saying a totally different thing, or she gave him the death stare. You remember that? Clearly, you know, they hadn't rehearsed it enough. So seemingly, once again, this is the case. However, a call into a very good source at Penguin Random House refutes all of this particular story. And the real reason is simply this. They're claiming that no one has actually yet seen the finished version of the book. Only the ghostwriter and, of course, the former royal known as Prince Harry truly know what's in the book. Yes, the MD over in New York would have seen it, but, you know, again, really, they haven't seen the narrative to the Netflix TV show. So as ever over here on our channel, what we do is we like to be fair and balanced. And what I'm telling you is, while this is a great story, you know, one has to take it with a huge pinch of salt because how on earth would Netflix have seen the book? And likewise, how would um, Penguin Random House have seen the TV series? Neither one has been screened. There's been no press screening and it's still in the editing stages right now. So yes, there can be one of two people that would have pe peeped in there and seen certain elements of the edit, but not enough really to derail the book. So again, you know, one wonders, is this a bit of smoke and mirrors to try and get people to talk about the couple in the most basic of terms? Now, of course, they're doing their own PR. Do not forget that this is Harry and Meghan trying to spin themselves into something of interest, particularly when they so need this TV show and this book to work. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.